spinners are winners. So I got my climbing hat on today because we're going up into the mountains. So the segment we're going to try to climb today on the bike. Magnolia Road, it's a hotly contested Strava segment out here in Boulder, uh, from Boulder Canyon. It's paved up to the top of a major climb in Magnolia. Starts at 6,000 feet, goes up over lung busting 8,000 feet, 9% average grade there. And hopefully we'll get it in before it starts raining or snowing. But uh, uh, King of the Mountain, Tommy Danielson, of course. Um, looking at the Strava data though, I had a really pathetic showing my first effort, my chain fell off, cost me a full minute, go figure, just fell off the front sprocket. No excuses though, um, we're going to try to improve on that time today. So actually the first two miles right off the bat are, are really brutal, the 12% average grade, 14% grade first mile. Of course, uh, I'm way, way down on the list there, um, I think it's because a lot of pros actually go out and do hill reps uh, really fast for the first couple miles but then for the full pull uh, we'll get that loaded up here paved segment for the full pull of course separate the the men from the boys ranked a little bit better there but still way down on the list so i'll try to improve on that today no excuses there's going to be a lot of pain out there uh i got 120 miles a week in my legs Cycling wise, I haven't ridden the bike for, rode the bike, ridden, haven't been on the bike for over two weeks, never gone on a training ride of more than 20 miles in any single session. This will be about my 13th or 14th time ever on a, on a road bike, so um, we'll see how I feel. And I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing on a bike or cycling. I, I can't even get my seat adjusted to the correct height. <laughs> Here we are at the base, the intersection of Canyon Road and uh, Magnolia Drive. It's an epic run course. Uh, it's known if running with the buffaloes or pro, pro runners run on the top where it turns into gravel. Today we're doing the climb on the pavement up to the top. It's about 6,000 feet down here to about 8,000 feet of elevation. 8% average grade, 4.4 miles. This is going to hurt. I think there's going to be a lot of muscle confusion in the legs. Let's roll. <laughs>
Oh man, so that was tough to check the Strava data. I don't think I beat my best time when my chain fell off by not very much. It was really hard. Uh, it's a brutal climb. I don't know which is harder, running up that really hard or cycling. I say it hurts the same. The pain's always constant if you try really hard. So way faster on the bike though than running. But uh, yeah, it seems like the more I train, the more I get specific into running. 120 miles a week, the worse I am at cycling. Granted, I haven't been practicing on the bike, but cardiovascular system was better. The legs just didn't have it, but it makes sense. I mean, you train to run, you get good at running. Muscle confusion, but a lot of fun. Just having a blast out here. Wonderful fall day, I gotta get up here before it snows, so thanks to Sandy for filming. Check out our channel. Running Wild to Believe, link to it there. Subscribe for more videos. Check out our website, sagerunning.com for training plans, uh, newsletter, coaching info, coaching plans. Uh, and thanks for watching. Hope your fall training's going well. And stay tuned for more of the Max Productions. All right, so looking at the data on Strava, um, ended up beating my time by like 45 seconds, but uh, it was really only because my chain didn't fall off this time. So still a really pathetic uh, ranking. Really got to try to improve on that. Um, again, I guess if what it comes down to is the running fitness, as my running fitness, cardiovascular fitness, improved a lot over the last month. My legs don't like cycling uh, when I'm running 120 miles a week, and it's specificity of training. Um, you get really dialed into that muscle, uh, muscle fiber development, uh, musculature development, and that running economy, and then cycling is a totally different activity. My form is also very poor, uh, Sandy pointed out, but uh, you can see that in the video. So thanks for watching, and I uh, hope your training is going well. Stay tuned for more VO2 Max Productions. Oh, and one final note, shout out to Avery Brewing for that awesome cycling jersey. I'm enjoying a rumpkin ale now, 18% alcohol beer.